Okay. So now let's move on. Tajuk light and optic. Kita dah panjang lebar. We talked about phenomena of reflection tadi kan? Reflection of wave just now. So, so light is actually a wave. Betul tak? Can you hold a light? Awak boleh letak tak light dalam dalam a box ke? Tak cannot. So light is actually a wave. Therefore, reflection of light atau sama lah dengan reflection of wave tadi. Alright? Now, so we first we look at plane mirror. So I have a plane mirror here. So the image. What are the characteristics of image? So the first one, same size as the object. Exactly, distance equal. Yeah, itu sama dengan tu. What is the third one? Laterally inverted. Virtual. Okay. Laterally. Laterally inverted. Virtual. Ah uh, yes, and then fourth, it's virtual. Okay, so what is virtual? Virtual means you cannot capture the image on a screen, on the screen, yeah. Okay, and then this diagram, okay, tengoklah dia jarang keluar tapi pernah keluar, okay. So, I like, okay, you are given an object here. Okay, and then you are asked to draw, alamak saya terubahkan untuk ni. Jadi, you need to draw the image and the ray line. So, ray line dia. Okay, tengoklah ni. Yeah. So, daripada mata ni buat satu je tak boleh. Daripada objek. Apa yang penting kat sini, I want you to take note. Okay, yang penting ialah the arrows. Arrow from where to where. Student selalu silap. Selalu student buat arrow from the eye to the object. That is wrong. Okay, actually the light get into your eye. Itu yang sebenarnya lah. Itu jelas selalu kesilapan belajar. The draw arrow tu. Okay. And of course lah you kena ada normal line. Okay ada dash line kat sini. Dash line ni menunjukkan apa? Why you must use dash line? So dash line means it's ver virtual. It's behind the screen so it's virtual. Okay and this one we have looked at this just now. Okay angle of reaction semua tak berubah. Kecuali direction. Okay, alam. Eh, sorry, ni refraction tiba-tiba. Okay, sorry. Now, kita masuk the third phenomena. Eh. Third, one, two, three. The third phenomena. Third ke kuat tadi? Uh, refraction of light. Masih okay? Sama lagi. Okay. Apa beza refraction of light dengan uh, water? Refraction of water. Okay, tadi if you look at refraction of water, refraction of water wave, what causes refraction? What, cause, what causes the refraction of water tadi? So the answer is change, change of speed. Change of speed. Dia daripada uh, tempat yang selaju kepada pelahan. Tapi soalan mungkin tanya, oh, you can tanya lah, you, you ask yourself, kenapa there is change of speed? Uh, so tadi somebody answered, the speed change because of change of density ataupun change of medium. Kan? So that is the density. Is it? Ah, tak eh? Untuk water, it's not because of the medium. Okay, kalau water, the speed change, okay, fahamkan ya? Uh, for water, the speed change because of the, apa tadi kita cakap tadi? What's the difference tadi? Uh, shallow small tu, apa tu? Shallow deep. What are these? So, this is actually the the depth. So, perubahannya disebabkan oleh depth. Different depth give you different speed. Medium sama. Water kan tadi. Okay. So, just to point out that one lah. Tapi, light. Okay. What causes refraction of light? So, the answer is the same. The speed. The speed change. 
when the speed change, that causes refraction of light happen. Tapi kalau awak tanya, kenapa speed dia berubah? Ha, jawapannya, less than to dense. Ataupun the other way around. Ataupun kita kata, we have different mediums of different density. Jadi, ya, awak kena tahulah dia, dia punya cause and effect tu. Okay, so this one, okay, you have learned this one in lower form. Form 2 ke form 1. Okay, when you have, okay, uh, light travels from less dense medium. Okay. So what happened to the ray light when it enters denser medium? So akan ada bending of light. Kan? Ray tu akan bengkuk, bending. Tapi dia punya bending tu macam mana? So at dense medium, dia punya angle will be smaller. So I bigger than refraction. So for that for denser. Kenapa dekat denser medium tu dia punya angle di flash? So kat mana faster? Light travels faster at less medium or less dense medium or dense uh, medium. So dah tahulah. Okay. This one. Yeah. Less dense. Light faster here. Light slower here. Alright. So this one is the other way around. I is less than R. Ha, okay. And of course lah, cikgu-cikgu awak pun selalu uh, faham dah sangat lah. Selalu kesilapan pelajar ni apa eh? Ha, ni. Dia selalu salah bila soalan tanya angle tu kat mana? Angle tu actually from the normal line. Not from the boundary. Okay. Right. And then dalam tajuk refraction of light wave, we have Snell's law. So Snell's law Okay, so this formula is obtained from Snell's law. Right. Okay, so um, usually people say I to for incident, R ni for refraction, refracted angle, incident angle, this one refracted angle. Okay, but I don't... Um, for my students lah, saya cakap jangan, jangan ingat macam tu lah. Incident and refracted. Not usually like that lah. Okay, be careful. So, now, kalau tengok macam ni eh. So, let's say this is a boundary. Okay, light travels from glass. So, let's say I have glass here. Okay. So let's say this one is 30 degree, this one 50 degree. So this one is in the air. Now, what is the refractive index of this situation? Anybody wants to try? So the refractive index is this formula. Sine I over sine R that is Okay, so what is our sign I right now? Students akan ada high tendency untuk tulis begini. Berapa R? 50. 50. 40. 50. 50. 50. 50. Yeah. Okay, salah ke betul ni? Ah, kalau sebenarnya, this one is not right. Okay. Apa, kat, kat mana yang salahnya tu? Sepatutnya I tu adalah you okay, must you must make sure I ni the incident angle tu is in the air. Hmm. Okay. Jadi dekat sini sebenarnya sin I 50 over sin 30. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay, next. Uh, ini eh, uh, faham apa yang kesilapan pelajar biasa ni ni eh? Uh, selalunya. Okay, lagi satu kesilapan ialah you salah angle lah ni. Right, kalau diberi. Okay, next. Uh, and we have another formula for um, refractive index which is C over B. So, what is C? C is speed, speed of, light. of light. Okay, V. 
speed of light juga. Okey, beza ni. C is speed of light in in vacuum or in air. But V is speed of light in water. any other um, water boleh, apa pun boleh lah in any other medium. Okay, it can be water, it can be glass and anything else. Right, so okay, we are almost done. Okay, critical angle. So, critical angle, right, so which one is critical angle? A, B or C? So, in order to answer this one, ah, B. betul, pandai. Yes, B is the answer. So, kadang-kadang bila nak jawab ni, kita kena tanya kita, diri kita lah, what is critical angle? So, critical angle is, soalan pun kata angle. Eh, nama dia pun angle. The name tells you, it is an angle. So, which one is the angle? Okay, so, kalau tanya definition, so the definition is, the angle of incident. So, what we are trying to say here now is critical angle is angle of incident. Okay, so this it's not, if I label this one as A alpha, I label this one is beta. Uh, sorry, this is beta. Uh, this is gamma. Okay, so if I label alpha, I label beta, I label a gamma. Alpha, beta, gamma will not be the critical angle. Will not. Why? Because they are the refracted ray. Ataupun they are the refracted angle. So, dia mesti angle of incidence. Mana angle of incidence? Ha, ni eh. So, maybe this one, maybe this one, maybe this one. Okay. Tapi, you must follow the conditions. So, what are the conditions? This is not only tu. Kalau tak, anything boleh jadi critical angle. But that's not true. So, so what is in the condition? So, first, the angle of incident. Next, check. Next, apa? When, when bila, bila, bila? When the? Angle is at 90 degree. Uh, okay, when, what is 90 degree tu? angle. Yes, when the refracted ray 90 degree from the normal line. Ada tak any other conditions? Yes, there is another condition which is the light must travel from when to other dua. When pertama tadi kita dah jawab 90 degree when yang kedua, the condition tu. So, these are the conditions, ya. Yeah? Uh, the condition ni boleh jadi the definition sekali lah. So, first tadi dah. So, secondly, it must be from when light travel from water. Light travel from How do water. you say about this? Are you, uh, uh, kalau kita tahu water lah, but if in, in general, kita kata Dance. Less than students or dance to less than? Dance to Please. less than. Yes, from dance medium to less than medium. Ataupun lagi senang uh, panjang kan? So, yeah. From dance to medium lah. Dance, saya dah tulis er uh, ni. So, of course lah. From dance to medium to less than medium. Okay, so you must fulfill these two conditions for this to be correct. Okay, awak kena tahulah nak sebut dua-dua ni. Tak susah. Sebenarnya nak sebut dua-dua ni, dua-dua apa tu yang ni ni, you can answer that one by looking at this diagram. Ha, awak tengok betul-betul diagram ni, betul tak? Ha, betul lah. Incident ray, oh. ini apa, apa, the refracted ray, 90 degree, and then dia from, from, uh, dance to less dance. Okay, so this is the phenomena of critical angle. A, what phenomena is A? Yes, it's A. Refraction. A, refraction to a less dance. Refraction. Less dance. Okay. Okay, uh, this C adalah fenomena Total internal reflection Total internal reflection So what is total internal reflection? 
Okay, so total internal reflection is a phenomena. It is a phenomena. So, bila phenomena tu? It is a phenomena. Phenomena when? Oh, sorry. When the incident angle is Hello? Yes, Cik. Saya nak keluar ke ni? Saya nak keluar ke? Okay, okay, okay. Alright. So, when the incident angle is greater than the... Critical angle. Greater than critical angle. Alright. Uh, yes. Okay, good. And dekat sini also, if on this one, okay, only applies when... Dia ada condition ni juga lah. First condition and two condition. Okay, condition ni sama. Okay, one and two, right? Okay, and there is a formula related to total internal reflection ataupun critical angle. So, what is the formula? Formula, so sorry, apa? One over sine C. So, N is that, that N is refractive index. So, we have how many formula for refractive index? So, so far we have three already. Okay, one, two formula, formula number two. So, these are the formulas that you need to know lah. Okay, dah masuk awak punya formula sheet. And this is the third formula. Okay, sine C. C is the critical angle. Okay, so untuk IGCSE, uh, you should focus on optical fibers. Right. There are so there are uh, in our daily life there are many examples of total internal reflection. Okay, but in IGCSE we want you to focus on optical fibers. Okay, so what is optical fiber? Fiber. So this is the diagram lah. A long thin rod of glass surrounded by cladding which uses total internal reflection. So this is the um, usual question lah. So the uh, you are given an incident ray. Then you have to draw the next diagram, uh, the next ray to pergi mana. Okay, right. So you can tengok lah. This one air, this one glass. So light travels from dense medium to less dense medium. So what phenomena happens? Phenomena apa yang berlaku? So kita ada phenomena total internal reflection. reflection. Yeah. Okay, angle tu kita kena buat lah lebih kurang sama. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so continue. So, kadang soalan kata until the light goes out kan? Ha, macam tu, keluar. Sampai ada kita keluar tu. Okay, now we move on to lens. Okay. Right, so uh, in IGCSE we have focus on one lens only which is converging lens. What is converge? Converge means everything focus to a point. Oh. Okay, to a point. So, this also another name of it is focusing lens. Okay, the focus. Okay, right. Lens. Saya tutup lah tadi saya nak tengok ada orang ke tak? Ya, ada. Internet yang berasalah. Okay, sekarang ni. Okay, uh, there are many things to uh, cover untuk converging lens. Okay, first this principle. Okay, okay. If you have parallel lines, okay. If you have red, uh, lights, macam ni, straight line. Okay, right. So you are asked to complete the diagram. So you know this is a converging lens. Jadi bila dia converging lens, you must focus all the line tu to one point. Okay, now when you have this, kat mana focal point? So of course lah the focal point will be the, the point where all the lines intersect, which is this one. So that's the focal point, capital F. Okay, but you can also measure the length. Okay, so the length is from the principle, principle exists to the focal point. So that is the focal length. 
untuk focal length, we use small letter M. Okay, is everyone okay? I'm still online, kan? Yes, it's right. Yeah. So, saya, yes. Yeah. yes. Right, so soalan kadang-kadang benar tapi dah lama dah tak keluar eh. Uh, dah lama tak keluar. Soalan ask you to draw. So, let's say this is, I have the lens here. A lens in not draw. So, kita kena tahulah when drawing, you have to follow the principle. Principle of drawing, eh? Principle of drawing, ray light. Ray light uh, through converging lens. So, what is the first principle? So, the first principle, I use symbol saja, yeah? You, you, you listen carefully. So, the first one is light must pass through the, okay? Light must travel perpendicular, uh, sorry, perpendicular pula, salah. <laughs> The first principle, the line must be uh, parallel to the principle axis and then go, ni comma lah, then goes to focal point. So that's the first principle. The second principle is the line, the real light must pass through, okay, travel, straight line, but pass through O. What is O? O is? Nah, ni. Nampak? Oh, what is that? The it's optical. Uh, apa tu? Tak dengar. So, O is optical center. Okay. O tu optical center. Pusat dia. So, now where is my O? Where should I label my O? Here. Yeah. Uh, so, that's optical center. Okay. Let's see. I have. So, I want to show you how to draw. So, uh, the, uh, based on the principle, so let's say this is my focal point. Uh, mana yang alamak saya draw sini? Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Okay, let's say lah. Enam, tujuh, lapan, sembilan. Okay, so the focal line. So, this is the fo focal point. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Enam, tujuh, lapan, sembilan, sepuluh. Lebih kurang. Then, satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh, lapan, sembilan, sepuluh. Okay, sini. Focal point. So, that's focal point. So, I use, I use capital F. So, now, first, let's say the kata soalannya, uh, the object is U is uh, less than F. What is that? U less than F. You must know what is the symbol mean. Okay, what, the, what is the meaning of the symbols? Okay, lagi laju sikit eh. So, U less than F means, what is U? U is the distance. Distance of what? Object, distance. Object. Yes. So, kalau this symbol, okay, you know this symbol, less than. The, so, F ni apa? This is a length. Length of what? Focal length. So, this is your focal length. Therefore, that means U tu adalah anywhere in between O and F. Itu maksud dia. Okay, so let's say your object is here. Okay, so this is your object. Okay. Now, draw the ray line. So, first principle, okay, now let's do the first principle. We have parallel line, okay, parallel ray line to the principle axis. So, we draw a parallel. So, this is the principle axis. Parallel is this one. Okay. And then, mesti ada anak panah. Itu pun sudah selalu tertinggal. Okay, anak panah ni kena draw. Okay, next. Dia kata, bila dah complete tu, kita nak lalu focal point. Okay, right. So, it's converging lens. So, jadi kita akan lalukan dia ke focal point. Okay, next. What we do? Okay, we are done with that one. Arrow ke situ and then next, uh, true optical center. So, just now, have, since you have started here, so kita kena buat kedua yang ni. Hello? Uh, am I still online? Okay, lepas tu kita yeah. buat ini ke uh, optical center juga. Jadi, I use your ruler. Eh? You must use your ruler. Draw to the optical center. Okay, so where is the image? So, kalau macam ni, usually you will get two marks. So, maybe the next question dia tanya, draw the image. So, where would be the image? 
So the image must be at the uh, if you look at this line, so I labelkan this line number one, this line number two, the two lines must intersect and that intersection will uh, form the image. Jadi kat sini macam dia takkan intersect. Kalau makin jauh, ni makin jauh. Jadi kat mana dia akan intersect? So you need to do extrapolation. Kita kata you will do extrapolation. So, you will extrapolate at the, to the back. Sebab kita nak dapatkan apa ni? Kita nak dapatkan uh, image. Jadi, kita nak carilah yang point mana eh. Kita nak dapatkan point yang um, intersect. So, kita buat ni. Uh, okay, so the image, alamak macam tak kena, macam tak betul. Eh tak apalah, awak guna pembaris eh nanti kat saya ni tak guna pembaris. Jadi teka-teka je ni. Uh, okay, 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 cepat-cepat. Masa dah nak habis. Kita buat straight line kan. Okay, ha. Okay lah, lebih kurang. Okay, better this way. Okay, so uh, and then you notice is that I use dotted line. Why I use dotted lines? To show that, yes, yeah, I want to show that, I want to emphasize, to show that this is virtual region, virtual part. So, line pun virtual sebab kita extrapolate ke belakang and then the image also virtual. So, this is actually when you have magnifying glass. Okay, so magnifying glass is when you have U less than F. So, you must know what is U. U is the object. Okay, object kat mana? Uh, right, so next. Uh, ni eh, drawing dah ada kat situ. Okay, now what is the what is the characteristic of the image? Is it virtual? Yes, it's virtual. Virtual. Is it upright? Yes, oh. it's upright. Yes. And oh, it yes. is next. So kita ada VUM at U less than F. Boom. Okay, next. Kalau saya buat pula yang kedua, Okay, saya tak uh, tak nak buat semua tapi saya tunjuk je lah eh. Kalau awak buat prinsip tu, so untuk semua, okay, contohlah situation yang kedua. Second situation, let's say you more than 2F. Boleh ke buat ni more than 2F ni? Okay. So kalau you more than 2F, kat mana? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Jadi sini, somewhere there, my ni. 2F. Jadi, when you less, uh, when you greater than 2F, objek di mana? Okay, kat sini nak azan ni, eh, nanti saya akan senyap sekejap. So, kat, tapi saya lukis lah. So, this is the object. Right, nampak eh? So, this is U. U tu sini. Rumah saya ni depan masjid. Uh, jadi, uh, tu lah. So, this is U. Nampak tak? U tu is more than XF. Dia more than 2F. Dia uh, more than 2F. Okay. Now. Eh. Right, kita nak draw. If you, the question ask you to draw, follow the principle. First principle. Next, two, two point. Insyaallah, satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh, lapan, sembilan, sepuluh. Okay. Hmm. Ini lalu eh betul betul lah buat ni. Eh. Okay, so kita settle yang first rule. Second, second rule. Optical center. So, dekat sini lah. Dekat image kita form. So, sini. 
Jadi awak tengok kat sini, point ni kita dapat tegak kan? Dia tegak kat sini, jadi anak panah dia hujung kat situ. So kat sini pun samalah. Hmm. Arrow tu kat bawah. Jadi what are the characteristic of image? Is it virtual or real? Yeah. Upright? Inverted. Magnified? Is it magnified? No. Diminish. Diminish. Okay. Diminish. Okay. Kita panggil dia diminish. Alright. So, kita tahu kat sini. R-I-D. Real, inverted, diminish. So, kita boleh buat conclusion. So the conclusion. So kalau conclusion kita boleh saya buat conclusion lah eh, kat sini. If the object is ni here, here ni berapa? Mana? Okay lah, ini dalam semua. Okay, mungkin kat rumah awak pun akan azan sekejap lagi. So sekarang ni F, okay bila F ni, uh, okay kat region yang saya highlight tu, okay that is the region where we have U less than F. So dekat region sini, the characteristic of image is, so this is important untuk uh, objective question, virtual, upright, magnified. Okay, now if the object is really on top of U, eh sorry, on top of F dekat sini, what is the characteristic of image? So kita kat sini akan dapat apa? Kalau sini U is equal to F. So what is the characteristic of image? So virtual, still virtual, still upright, masih lagi magnified but the, the object is at infinity. So, boom, boomy. So, next, what if the object is in between F and 2F? Okay, kat mana-mana lah. Ha, sini ke, sini ke. So, anywhere, sini, in between F dengan 2F. Okay, kita kata U is more than F, but less than 2F. Okay, so what are, what are the characteristics? Masih lagi virtual? The answer is no. Okay, dia dah jadi real, inverted, but diminish. Is it diminish? Uh, kita, awak draw lah. Kalau awak draw nanti awak nampak. Dia akan dapat diminish ke sangat tak? So, tengok dia akan ada pattern. Uh, dia ada pattern kat situ. Pattern ni apa ni? Nampak tak? Ni M, boom, 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 rim. Okay, now if the object is on top of F. So, kita kata objek tu 2 equals to, barang mana, bukan 2, U. U equals to 2 F. Okay, jadi what is the character of, of image? So, dia dah tukar pattern lah. Dia R, I, maintain. M tu dah kat dalam, dia dah tak normal magnify. Dia akan jadi same size. Risk. Okay, what happen if you have more than 2F? Okay, tadi kita dah proof kan. So, more than 2F tadi kita dapat ni. What are they? What, uh, what, apa, apa tadi? So, read. Okay, so kita nampak kat situ there is a pattern. Okay, once you move to uh, ni, dia dah jadi RRR, I, I, I. The only thing is the size. So, if you place the object away from the lens, the image will be smaller and smaller. Okay, boleh ingat lah ni. Boom, boom, rim, ris, read. So, this is good for objective question. Okay, ataupun if you want to check, you can drawing. Oh, I dah draw. Tapi betul tak I dapat RID? Okay, you boleh check lah. Okay, and then uh, where we use uh, uh, converging lens? Okay, kita, salah satunya kita, we use it in, what is this? This is a binocular. Okay. So, okay, uh, 
it's not this one. Okay, these are prisms. Okay, prisms ni uh, follows the rules of concept of total internal reflection. So, where is the the part yang related tu? Magnifying glass kat mana ni? Yeah, the lenses ni. Ada lens kat sini. Okay, the lens is just to focus the ray light. Okay, we have discussed this one. So, these are a few examples. Jadi, I... Uh, I already shown you i already showed you the way to draw kena follow the rules tadi so you can draw on your own lah later you can discuss with your teacher each principal focus ah boleh lah lukis describe the nature of the image selalunya memang macam tu soalan soalan a the question will ask you to draw ray diagram then you describe so if you draw so this is the object okay o is the object so f the focal length so, what are the rules you kena buat tadi? First, tadi apa? Kena recall lah ni. Parallel, lepas tu and focal point and then optical center. Buat lah. Mm -hmm. Focal point and then optical center. Oh, tak dapat. Oh, buat belakang. Okay, so apa characteristic your image? Buat kat belakang ni. Terus dapat. Cuma so, you need untuk cepat belajar kan? You can use your ruler. Okay. Now, images formed by lenses sometimes have colored it. Kenapa? Uh, that is something you have to try to relate. Man, what? Uh, kenapa dia akan uh, ni? Sometimes have colored edges. Sekejap lagi kita tengok kenapa. Especially of life in teacher. Yes, exactly. Betul. Tepat sekali. Siapa tu? <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, so that is dispersion. Okay, that is because of dispersion. Jadi kita tengok dispersion. Okay, soalan ni pun saya rasa tak ada masalah. Tengok kan, tadi kita dah tahu kan, rim wrist rate ni. Awak tengok sekali lalu awak tahu. What is the answer? Cepat, saya boleh jawab dengan cepat. Ha, dapat 51. Okay. Ha. This is our focal length. So this is U. So what can you say about U? U bigger than L. Is that all? Is U more than 2F ataupun less than 2F? 2F equals than 2F. Okay, less than 2F. Okay, less than 2F. Uh, okay, dia less than 2F. So this is the condition. So which one? Rim, wrist, boom, wumi, wrist, bridge or rim? Uh, tengoklah balik kan. Yes. Awak hafal tadi kan. Uh, dia akan jadi. Is it risk? Less than 2L. Uh, dia in between tadi. Uh, okay. Kalau risk. Kalau dia equal tu. Risk if it is equal to 2L. So jawapan dia rim. So what is rim? Where is rim? Rim is rim magnified. Okay tak ada. Real. Jadi ni dah tak payah tengok. And inverted. So that's the answer. Senang kan bila awak faham. Kalau awak tak tahu, tak, kalau awak tak ingat yang ni, tak apa. Awak boleh draw. Uh, itu salah satu cara lah. Okay, this is a very nice question. Suggest one possible hazard of leaving the fishbowl. The fishbowl next to the window. Apa jadi eh? Boleh jadi? Water dry out faster. Water dry up faster. Fish will mati. Okay. Die. Now dia nak die. Okay. Now you actually, you want to relate this with topic, apa? Topic light ray. Ha, bila kita jawab tu, kita tengok. Kita nak tengok this is topic light. What have I learned in this topic? Ha, kita relate kan balik. I learn about total internal reflection, critical angle, uh, refraction. I learn about reflection. Mana yang paling related? Is this about reflection of light? Tak sesuai. Tak ada reflection. Is this about diffraction? No. Not sure. Uh, so it's about refraction. Tapi part mana? Part lens. Converging lens. So kat sini kita converging. Kita ada converging lens as if we have a converging lens. So bila light travels, all the light akan focus to one point. Okay. So what happen is we will ah uh, tengok balik pada ni lah ah uh, gambar ni kan uh, dia akan focus what happen burn next tu kan so the focus tu ah uh, 
tak tahulah dia akan terima ke tak uh, cepat uh, tu biarkan kita Masa. dia nak jawabkan dia set fire Hmm. Kita set fire sebab tak tahu Ni ada That's why kan Dia Tu Oh Kan Not only the fish Okay the water sekali Okay so this is dispersion You can read about this one Nothing much Okay tadi kawan awak dah sebut Dispersion happens because of Okay, light, ada uh, different colors uh, and then light travels at different speeds. Okay, that's why lah dia bend kan. Okay, and then we get that one. And you have to uh, uh, familiarize yourself with the word, the term monochromatic. What is monochromatic? One color, one frequency. Okay, and then we talk about electromagnetic spectrum. <coughs> By now, you should have any. How are you going to memorize this? Uh, kena lah buat acronym, uh, acronym eh. Uh, buatlah cerita ke lagu ke up to you. My students do like this. Dia kata apa? Uh, apa ya? Oh, they buat gorilla. Don't use babe in mother's room. Uh, awak buat apa-apa, awak apa macam mana? Uh, buatlah sendiri kan? Uh, you all buat. Kenapa? Okay. This one is apa tengah. Banyak soalan tanya. What is that? Uh, you can turn, tahu which uh, from gamma to radio what happened to the wavelength? Uh, itulah yang awak kena tahu. Okay. So from, look at this diagram. So from gamma to radio wave, the wavelength increasing. Okay. However, what happened to the frequency? The other Fre way around. Eh? Right. Frequency akan ber... Awak kena tahulah dia opposite. Jadi, uh, depends on the situation. Kita tak kata siapa yang lagi bagus. No. We don't... Uh, it's not like that. Depends on the situation ataupun we want, depends on the function that we want. So, kalau awak nak dia penetrate uh, anything uh, rigorously, kita kena gamma lah. Because gamma very powerful. So, that you need to know that the frequency is related to the energy. The frequency related to the energy. The higher the frequency, the higher the energy. Therefore, antara gamma, x-ray and ultraviolet, which one has higher energy? Of course lah, gamma. Okay, now what are the properties of electromagnetic spectrum? So before we go to the properties, uh, just to point this, uh, point this to you. Okay, first you need to know lah this one. Uh, gorilla don't use vape in mother's room. Next, ver, uh, uh, visible light also has its own. Apa dia? Uh, awak kena tahu juga lah. Tu so, apa macam mana? Roy G beef eh? Roy G beef. Okay. R red, orange, yellow. G for what? Green, B blue, and I indigo and violet. What? B violet. Okay, what are the properties of E and wave? Anyone can tell me quickly? So the first is they are all trans, transverse wave. And what else? What, what else are important? So they are powerful. Electromagnetic spectrum, they don't need medium. Yes, don't need any medium to travel. So that's why lah dia kita uh, dekat luar luar angkasa lepas pun ada AM. light kan light can travel. Okay and then the final uh, uh, property is they have high speed. Do they have the same speed? Yes, if they are in vacuum or in air they all have speed of light. Okay, high speed, which is C. C is the symbol for physical quantity of speed of light. Okay, and finally, okay, ni lah, users ni awak cari lain banyak, tapi soalan-soalan IGCSA banyak lah tanya tentang users of electromagnetic wave. Contoh, radio wave, 
used for radio and television, communications. What else? Microwaves for satellite. Uh, itu selalu student silap. Microwave for satellite. So, usually, student ingat satellite ni guna infrared ke apa kan? Okay, visible for fiber optic and so on and so forth. And then hazards also, you need to know what are the hazards. So, too much exposure to a UV can skin, cause skin cancer and then mutation. What else? And then kita ada um, internal heating of body tissue kalau microwave. So, this is caused by microwaves. And finally, kita ada infrared. Infrared tu apa hazard dia? It can cause skin burns. So, these are a few that you need to know. Okay, sound wave tak ada apalah. So, you need to know the formula. Okay, and then uh, ultrasound. You need to know, uh, is ultrasound the same as sound? So, ultrasound is actually sound, tapi kenapa? It has higher frequency, has frequency that is more than, more than how much? Uh. Okay, so usually human can hear between 20 to 20 hertz. Right. So, about 70,000 kan, teacher? Ultrasound. Ah, kan? Okay. Yes, 20,000 hertz. Alright, uh, bagus, kita cari dulu. Saya saja tak bagi tu. Okay, and then you need to know the term. Term apa? Term uh, loudness and pitch. So, what's the relationship? The louder, that means the amplitude is higher. Uh, macam tu. Alright, so I think kita akan tengok soalan tapi sekarang dah pukul. 5, 1 minit. Jadi saya pun lambat ni tadi sebab banyak lama masa dekat uh, tak ada tak ada line. Jadi you can do this with your teachers. Now, figure represent the sound wave produced. Uh, itu sajalah a second tuning fork produces a different sound. Compared with the sound represented here, this sound is quieter and has half the frequency. So now draw the new wave. So how is your new wave look like? Okay, quieter means the loudness higher or less? Less. 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 So, that means amplitude less or higher? Less. 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 Okay, half okay. So, jadi awak akan draw something. Okay, kalau tadi kat sini dia punya, uh, right? sekarang ni awak mungkin draw, kita buat reference yang senang lah. Nak menunjukkan dia less. Okay, you will draw down there. Next, half the frequency. Jadi, frekuensi uh, higher or lower? Lower. 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 So, what happened? You will see more waves or ataupun you will see less waves? Less. More. Less or more? Ha. Yes. Kita akan see less wave eh. Yes. Sebab frekuensi tu ha. Tadi kita dah bincang. Jadi, you you boleh cara lukis ni kan. Tadi kita akan nampak macam ni. Awak tengok eh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1, 2, 3 ni adalah 1 wavelength. Lebih kurang. So, kita ada lebih kurang 2 wavelengths dekat sini. 2 and a half. Jadi, when you want to draw. Jadi, 3, 1 wavelength. So, dia akan uh, double. 1, 2, 3. Kita akan ada... Six lah. Oh, tidak. Hmm. Ah, lebih kurang macam tu lah. Kita nak tunjukkan dia punya wavelength berkurang. Eh, bukan wavelength. Dia punya frequency berkurang and the amplitude pun lesser. Okay. So, make sure you know the difference. I think that's all for today. Ah, ni saya tak sempat nak tunjuk. Ni eh, tips using calculator. Kenapa saya rasa penting this one? Sebab sometimes in calculation, tak kisahlah paper 1 ke paper 2, you need to know prefixes. Okay, prefixes which are tera, giga, mega, kilo, desi, senti, mili, micro, nano, pico. Saya ada lagu tera, giga, mega, kilo. That's my, my lagu lah. Tapi kalau awak tak hafal, awak akan be in trouble sikit lah. Tapi ada tips. Tak tahulah selagi mereka tak tahu. Sebenarnya if you use calculator FX570 which student dah tak selalu tak guna. Sekarang ni student guna graphic calculator. 
Jadi grafik kalkulator tak ada benda ni. Jadi awak boleh tengoklah dekat sini cara saya guna macam mana awak boleh tekan je kan. Ha. Macam mana saya guna untuk mudah macam tiru tiru jawapan pada kalkulator untuk soalan-soalan objektif, soalan-soalan pengiraan. Katalah soalan tu suruh awak buat. Kita ada 4700 meters berapa dia dalam tera meter contoh. Ha, awak guna je lah kalkulator. Okey cik. So, dua jam kita boleh cover dua chapter kan ha, bersama cik Gunurul. So lepas ni kita tengok kalau sendiri tu dapat berapa chapter. Ha. So better to learn together right. Okey. Um, dan terima kasih juga sebab uh, respon kepada soalan-soalan cik Nurul. Dan stay sampai ke pukul 5, 6 minit sekarang. Uh, harapnya semua masih bersemangat lah untuk meneruskan uh, kita punya persediaan ke arah IGCSE dan final semester 2. Bagus lah. Aku ni bagus lah. Haa dia kita tidur kat tangga. Tak kena. Ya ya. Cantik.